हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ माय चैनल कार एंड गो टुडे आई एम शोइंग यू द सेम रोड एंड द थंबनेल इज सेइंग यू दैट द परफेक्ट कंडीशन फॉर एडस ड्राइविंग सो दिस इज द परफेक्ट रोड इफ यू वांट टू यू नो ड्राइव इन योर एडस विद योर एडस फ्रीक्वेंटली एंड यू नो विदाउट एनी इंटरप्शन सो दिस काइंड ऑफ रोड इज perfect you see the lane markings are there there is not much traffic take manual control over here okay change the lane indicator off everything is set i just press the resume okay 60 i just press and hold it becomes 70 and it's safer to drive on the middle lane okay indicator indicator off already whoever uh, my viewers if you have seen my previous videos you already know when to put your indicator when to you know for your radar when to activate your radar when to deactivate your radar everything i explained in my previous videos okay so now i am just driving with radar the car is coming ahead look at my speed it is reducing i'm not applying any brake but i don't trust so uh, uh yeah now i will follow this car let's see how far it goes okay it is going too slow so i am to change my lane i should change my lane so what i do indicator okay adas is still active i didn't deactivate it okay turning by itself it is maintaining the lane by itself the green arrow is there so everything set i'll try on the zip mode okay it will not change i think in the adas condition it sh shift to zap mode okay because i was driving in the zip mode and when i activate the adas it came automatically to zap mode i'm not sure but i will check it again If you guys have idea, then please let me know whether uh, the address is activated on the zap mode only or not. Please let me know on the comment. Okay. Today I will not teach much, much because uh, everything you have learned from my previous videos. Today I am just in enjoying a seamless driving. Okay. See, look at the curve. Look at the turn. it is turning by itself but my hand is there now it will slow down because of the truck see slowing down okay i can't change my lane because there is traffic on the left lane okay now i can change i give the indicator everything is fine i change the lane i didn't deactivate that as okay I change the lane, the same system, system, the same address. I mean, it is going on the same, no deactivation. So my foot is relaxing, my hand is relaxing, and the car is going on 70. Well, I'm climbing to the bridge; it is maintaining 70. When I'm going down, I'm going down. It will still maintain 70. Apply brakes. So this is how you actually we drive with Adas in highways. Okay, this is not just to check and you know okay my car has this feature. The thing is, if your car has this feature, use it. Okay, you paid money for this. You paid you 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 took the L variant. But I think this is not a luxury thing. Luxury thing. This is a you know very useful. uh feature even so it should not be labeled as luxury l it should be available in other cars also in other you know uh variants also yeah so today it's going to be a short video 
only enjoy the road enjoy the car is driving if you want to learn more follow my channel pedestrian now we, the bike is you know so speed of the bike is more than me so no problem i don't need to slow down so this is the perfect road okay this is the perfect road for driving with adas level 2 with your lane, lane keep assist this is the perfect condition of the road now see it is applying brake little bit because of that front car it came in my lane this speed bars no it doesn't slow down it maintain the same speed one car coming from my right my left is also clear so i don't even need to apply brakes in this kind of road you, know, you see i mean small brakes slow down is not required uh, i mean uh, manual input is not required this is what the adaptive cruise control is we have a radar over uh, 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 in front okay so what does this radar do the radar transmits uh, you know frequency signals and that frequency that signal goes and hit the traffic ahead and comes back okay and my radar system i mean the computer can calculate the the emission the time of emission of the frequency and the time of the receiving of the frequency okay so it divides by two so we get the time how much time it goes for the frequency to go and hit to the front car ahead and we know the speed of the frequency is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second okay so you did the same you know this basic calculation in your maybe 9th or 10th so the same thing is applied here in the in the radar system only thing is this is a doppler radar i think though it they didn't mention whether it is a doppler radar or not but anything is moving if I am to detect the car which is moving, I am also moving, we need a Doppler radar. And also this camera over here, this camera is to check the lane, okay, see the markings of the lane. One more thing, even in the books, they recommended that if there is fog, if there is rain or this kind of things, please do not use or rely on your radar system because the camera may not be you know may not be able to detect the lines properly so that's it guys this is a short video i don't want to bore you much okay i'll slow down and i'll, I'll try to stop over there okay so thank you so much please please subscribe my channel i have only three subscribers thank you so much